I'll just try to run through what it was that I was trying to illustrate. After some prayer about what I should do for a presentation, the Lord laid on my heart or Psalm 19, the heavens declare the glory of God. And I started to think about that and he led me to think about just what, how that happens. Um, so I thought about the two things. The earth shows forth his handiwork. So I thought about two things in the sky, that the sky never ends and that's the way God's glory is and the light. So I got thinking about the light and the fact that there's no color in anything but it's in the light and everything else reflects that. So I made up some color wheels and I used a drill. These are actually some Dremel uh, attachments that I made these discs out of just cardboard. I took a CD and cut these out and colored them and then uh, I used them and then I also tried to use it, just a basic plastic bag but it's red but to show that when only red light is let through then only red light can be reflected and that's why you only see red light. Even the grass would look red with that light shining on it because there's something in the green that would also reflect the red, something in the grass. I'd explain what a cell was and how big it is and how big the DNA is in it. So I used a grain of salt and if the salt was a cell, 60 trillion of them would fill this park and then inside that salt, even though it's really small, is a six and a half foot long piece of DNA. So I got a string, I tied a rock on it to show it. I tried to illustrate that it was small by using a fishing line and I have some sinkers on it that I sprayed orange. But I wanted them to think about when you find a book like that and you find that code, you know that it was written by somebody and that it didn't just happen. And I tried to illustrate that before I got to the DNA by this book. When you find a book, and that scientists have found a book in a cell, it's called DNA. And that God wrote all these books and how much information is on all these books because God is way smart and he is full of glory. And then I try to talk about the Bible because God gave us this book and it's like his DNA. And I thought that that would be really good to think about because it does tell us all about him and about the Lord Jesus Christ who came to save us and then I also have some pepito seeds that every seed has DNA in it. Every, every plant is a DNA in it. There's books and information all around that God wrote that if we would just look around that just dwarfs uh, in uh, magnanimous terms the information that we're trying to process on the internet and every other place. Um, so I wanted to illustrate all that and then I also wanted to illustrate and have a theme of books all the way through because in the end God is going to open the books at the judgment and it's important for our name to be written in the book of life. I made, took a little time out in the middle to explain the beginning when God made us and how he gave us a choice because he loved us and how Adam and Eve made the wrong choice and try to tie it all together. But Usually when you just do that one time, if you've got a group of kids with there that are more, a more captive audience, you can go through it and illustrate it in many different ways or have a theme uh, over several weeks and several lessons that would be much more uh, effective than a one-time shot. Thank you.